Hey guys, it's Jeff, and a lot of you have been having issues with iOS 11 and a possible boot loop. If you have any other version of iOS, this video is for you as well. I have a solution for you, and I decided to take you guys through the process of how to get your device out of that boot loop. So a viewer sent his phone in to us with a boot loop issue and we decided to use some software that was sent to us from a company that works exclusively with Apple products. The software that we were using is called Phone Rescue and I've provided a link in the description below where you can download it. You can use the software as a recovery tool and as a repair tool for your iDevices. Luckily for us, one of the repair tools was a boot loop fix. Just in case you might be wondering what the reason for this boot loop was, it was most likely due to the user using iOS 11 without a developer registering his UDID. So to fix this, we would have to downgrade the device to iOS 10, register his device, and update it back to iOS 11. But before you go get software to fix your device, try the traditional button combinations to get your phone into a DFU mode. If those don't work like it didn't work for us, you might want to start looking at software to help you get into that DFU mode. If you are using a program like this, they typically have a repair tool or a menu option to help you get into a recovery mode which will allow you to restore your device. Once you are in a recovery mode with the lightning cable and iTunes logo showing, you should be ready to restore your device. There's a link in the description below where you can get the correct iOS version for your device which will be in an IPSW file format. Once that's downloaded, you want to go into iTunes, and when your device is recognized by iTunes, it will notice that your device is in a recovery mode. You want to hold the Option, or if you are on a PC, the Alt key, while left-clicking on the Restore button. From there, a window will pop up where you can select the IPSW file that you just downloaded. From there, iTunes will restore your device, and the boot loop issue should be fixed. Now, for us, that wasn't the end because the user wanted to get iOS 11 up and running on this device. So we made sure his UDID was registered before updating and then installed the beta configuration profile to get his phone to allow an update to iOS 11. Once that was completed, we updated to iOS 11 and everything was working perfectly fine. If you have the same issue, make sure you restart your device just to make sure that it doesn't go back into the boot loop once you've loaded all your stuff back onto your device. Luckily, this iPhone didn't go back into the boot loop, so it was ready to send back to the user. So, it's that simple. If you have some software to help you, and you know what you're doing, it's actually really, really easy and should only take you a max of 10 to 15 minutes. So, hopefully this video helped you out in some way, and your device is back up and working. Thank you all for watching, and until we see you in our next video, we hope you all have an awesome day.